2 is packed with praise. There is singing on the lips of angels that reaches to the farthest point of the universe. The heavenly host sang glory to God in the highest heaven. We are told that the diameter of the observable universe is 93 billion light years. On this night, praise rang out in the highest heaven to the creator of all. In the highest heaven, to the edges of the universe, something special was happening. Peace on earth to all whom God favors. There is amazement and praise in the hearts and on the lips of simple, lowly shepherds in a small, quiet, peaceful, remote village. They could not keep it in. They wanted to tell anyone and everyone that they had seen the child. There was a treasuring in the heart of a teenage girl who was willing to submit to the Lord's will to be the mother of the Messiah. Mary's praise was more subdued, deep, pensive. What could all this mean? From the highest heaven to the lips of angels to the hearts of shepherds to the heart of a mother the world-changing, history-altering one had arrived. There was also the willingness of a saint to die in peace because he had seen the Savior given to all people. Life here meant nothing compared to this life-changing event. The line was drawn in the sand. The universe would never be the same. The angels, the shepherds, the mother, the saint would never be the same. And I will never be the same. Recently, while praying here at the seminary, sitting in the dark auditorium, I heard two words in my spirit. Remind me. They're words from an old song, and later as I was walking, some more of the words came back. Remind me, Lord. Roll back the curtain of memory now and then, Show me where you've brought me from and where I could have been. Remember, I'm human, and humans forget. So remind me, remind me again. The angels, the shepherds, a mom, a saint, me. And you will never be the same. The Savior has arrived. Merry Christmas to all of you. And may there be praise on your heart. Jesus is here.